Isabella, about our coming mom's trip. What? What is it, Emma? Is there something wrong with the mom's trip? No, no, I just wanted to talk to you about the savings for the getaway. You only paid a dime for the reservation fund. Everyone else has paid theirs in full. This is a bit of a problem. Oh, I see. But it has nothing to do with me. Don't talk to me like that. Oh, come on, don't say that. We're all paying our bills. I'm sure the other moms are urging you to pay too. Oh, they actually do, but I always ignore them. There's no reason for me to go to the trouble of paying them. Why wouldn't you? Oh, you know why. My husband is an ex-Yakuza. If you say anything to offend me, he can beat the crap out of you in a heartbeat. Well, that's... My husband has a temper. If I explain to him that you guys are bullying me, I'm sure he'd get angry in a heartbeat. If you guys charge me money, he'll beat you up one by one. Please don't do that. I mean, it's terrible to bring up your husband in a mom-to-mom -mom conversation. What's so terrible about that? I have every right to tell my husband. Why should I have to pay for it in the first place? You can just pay it for yourselves. But this is a trip us moms, everyone has to pay. You're being too stubborn. I told you, I'm not paying. Or what? You want your husband to hit you? Some people have strange tastes. I never said that. I'm just asking you to stop bothering us, your mom friends. Huh. You're really cheeky to go that far. We're angry at your past behavior too. If you're going to behave any more selfishly, I'll do what's appropriate, what you deserve. What do you mean, deserve? What the hell is this? We're not taking you on this trip. We won't let you do what you want anymore, even if you threaten us. Oh, really? You're going to say that? Okay then. I'll just go ahead and anticipate you guys at the hotel you're staying at. What? Ahead of us? Of course. It's your fault for trying to get back at me. Well, I'll show you what happens when you disobey me. I'll show you what happens when you cross me. Why did you go to all that trouble? You could have called your husband and beat us up or something. What? No, no. I don't care if you use my husband. Because if I do that, you guys might get even angrier, right? Using my husband as my last resort. Oh well, I don't know. That's kind of doubtful. Shut up. Anyway, I'm definitely going to get into that hotel. I'm going to have a lot of fun with your money. I got to the fancy hotel first. I'll be waiting while drinking the most expensive wine. I drank a lot of wine, so please pay for it. I got too drunk. The trip was postponed on short notice. What? What? No, it's not. Suddenly, Sophia couldn't make it. We postponed it to next week. What? You never said anything about that? Well, I didn't think I had to tell you. If I told you, you'd be on board for next week's trip, wouldn't you? I didn't want you to do that. What kind of joke is that? This was my chance to enjoy the trip. Then what am I supposed to do with all that I've spent here? You'll have to pay for that yourself. You ordered those in the first place. You're supposed to pay it for yourself, right? Are you kidding me? I came here for your money from the start. But if you're not here, what's the point? I don't understand what you're talking about. I have no intention of being taken advantage by you. You ordered it on your own. You should take responsibility for that. You. How do you say such a thing to me? Have you forgotten who I am? What kind of person you are? That's right. My husband is a Yakuza. That means that if you do anything against me, I can summon my husband and bring you to justice right away. Even though there is a situation like that, how dare you do this to me? 
Oh, you're talking about sanctions. I'm afraid your idea of sanctions isn't going to work at all. What? What do you mean? We already know who your husband is. What? Your husband is not an ex accuser or anything, right? It's true that he has a bit of a scary face, but when we talk to him, he's a normal person. When he found out that he was being called an ex accusa he had a troubled expression on his face. Well, the way you say that means you talked to my husband directly? Yes, I found your husband's contact information on the school's contact list. That's why I contacted him. It's insane to contact someone's husband without permission. And why didn't he tell me about it? Oh, we told him. We knew that if we contacted you, you would be able to get ahead of us. So this time, we asked him to keep quiet so we could punish you. What the hell? I can't believe you would go to such lengths to deceive people. That's impossible. I can't believe you would go to such lengths with me. Come back here right now. I know it's a problem that my husband's identity has been exposed. I'm still your boss mama. I have the right to tell you what to do. What? I didn't know you were the boss mom. When was that decided? I just decided. I'm the boss mom. And you have an obligation to do what I say. I'm calling the shots. Now come to the hotel and pay my bill. I'm sorry, but I have no obligation to obey such an order. We're all so tired of you. We're gonna have to ask you to leave this group. Out of the mother's group? Why would I do that? Because you're nothing but trouble to us. Do you have any idea how much trouble you're causing us? Not just this time with the reservation fund. You've taken people's money many times and every time you did, you threatened to tell your husband about it. That's all you've done. Do you think you'll be forgiven now? Well, that may be true, but... But that doesn't mean you have to kick me out. No, they're all saying they don't want you to be part of it anymore. If you stay any longer, you'll just keep bothering us again, right? If that's the case, it would be better for you to get out now. We'd be more than happy to have you leave. What a terrible thing to say. I didn't do anything wrong. You're just making a fuss on your own and made me look bad. You saying we're making a fuss unexpectedly, you're the one who created the situation to make a fuss. If you hadn't spent people's money, we wouldn't have done this. You make it sound like it's all my fault. Well, since you don't seem to be aware of it, let me be clear. Yes, it's all your fault. Why do you go that length to say that? You guys just figured out that my husband wasn't an ex -yakuza. And you're just taking advantage of the fact. That's terrible. That's how you pick and choose your victims, isn't it? If my husband really was a Yakuza, you wouldn't have fought back like this. Well, you're the one who picked and chose your opponents, aren't you? If you lied about being a Yakuza, you thought we wouldn't fight back, didn't you? You shelve what you yourself have done and criticize others. It's not only duplicitous, it's self-contradictory. I don't care. I'm the one who controls you. I can do whatever I want to do. Huh. You're the one in control? You sound like a boss mama again. Because I am. I have taken your money many times before, and I intend to continue to do so. And yet, you fight back like this. It's just too much. You should take better care of me. I don't know about the rest of us, but as long as they don't do this to me, I try to be nice to all. Even when I was making a claim on you for the reservation fund. I was trying to be as gentle as possible. What are you talking about? There's no way I would have noticed that. I'm the one who created this group of moms in the first place. I'm like the creator of the world. I can't believe it goes so far as to stand up to a god. It's insane. I really don't know what you're talking about. Are you okay? You're calling yourself a god. Because it's a fact that I created this group. Without me, you guys wouldn't have been able to get along like this. Why don't you show me some of that gratitude? But if I remember correctly, I don't think you were in this group when I was accepted. 
I don't think you were in it yet. That's not true. That's just your faulty memory. No, you definitely weren't. It was just Sophia, Charlotte, Mia, and then there were more. You were not the one of the first members. Maybe you shouldn't treat yourself like an early member. What are you talking about? I'm an early member. I mean, what is it by being an early member? I'm an early member, so I'm great? So you want others to be more discerning? That doesn't make any sense. Because being an early member is kind of nice. It makes me feel like I'm better than you. Even if that were true, that doesn't stop us from sanctioning you. Why? You just want me to be alone, right? I mean, my husband knows I'm here today, right? I don't know what my husband will say when I get home. Well, we'll have to wait and see when you get home. First of all, you'd better think about how you're going to pay for your extravagant spending right now. What the hell are you talking about? You're the ones paying for this place. You keep saying the same thing. Enough! We're not spending our money on you, no matter how many times you tell us to. In fact, you should be thankful we don't charge you for all the money you've taken from us. Oh well, I'm still kinda lucky. I can still talk to you guys. You really have a flower garden inside your head. From our point of view, the money you've been robbing us off is our severance package. In exchange for not charging us that money, we want you to leave us alone again. What? It's a severance package? Then I'll pay for it. How much have I taken from you so far? I'll pay it. Just don't tell me you're cutting me loose. Well, I don't like it when you suddenly say you'll pay up, because if we add it all up, we've been robbed of almost a million dollars. Wow, almost a million dollars? I don't remember taking that much from you guys. Even if you don't remember that, we were robbed for sure. Do you have any idea how much money we lost because of you? Well, since you're not going to be involved with you anymore, we'll let you off the hook. Don't tell me you don't want to be involved. I still want to be with you guys. I want to continue to spend your money. See? That's what you really want. You don't want to spend any of your own money and only use other people's money to have a good time. How can that be convenient? Wait, then if only my husband really became a Yakuza. What? I'll ask my husband to become a real Yakuza. Huh. Whether that's realistic or not, I think if you think about it for a minute, you'll understand. Well, I guess you don't know that either, which is why you're causing such a commotion. How dare you be so rude. You're the ones who caused the commotion. Don't talk like it's my fault. It's true that we may have caused the commotion, but you started it, didn't you? That's terrible. Trying to put the blame on others like that. Ah, I'm sorry, but there's no point trying to play the victim here. In fact, your husband said he'll cooperate and give you a good sermon. Oh, really? Even my husband is willing to cooperate? Why does he listen to mom friends more than his wife? I can't believe it. That's because that's how bad a person you are. Your husband must have thought the same way. Why don't you stop making excuses and give up already? No matter how many excuses you make, I don't think you can change this situation anymore. I don't want this to happen to me. There must be some mistake. It's not right. Just a few minutes ago, I was enjoying the luxury of your money. I was enjoying myself with a bottle of fine wine. And now all of a sudden it's my fault? This is just wrong. It's your sense of morality that's wrong. If you hadn't put yourself in this situation, None of this would have happened. Don't you dare. I didn't do anything wrong. It's not my fault. You have to keep telling yourself it's not your fault. It's gotten to the point where you can't keep your sanity. I feel sorry for you, but I guess you deserve what's coming to you. Oh, yeah. Okay, Emma. You can call yourself Blossom Mom from now on. Hmm? Huh? What are you talking about? I'm saying I'm giving you the Boss Mom position. I'm sure you wanted to be boss mom too. I'm sorry I didn't realize that. As long as you're the boss mom, you can control everyone and make them do what you say. You'll have to be bossy to make them listen to you. It's in your best interest to be a boss mom. I'm sorry, but I'm not like you. 
I've never thought about making people obey me like you do. I'm not at all happy that you're going to let me call myself boss mom. I'm not happy at all. What are you talking about? It's the only way for me to get out of this situation. You're the boss mom. You need to be the boss mom and tell everyone not to blame me anymore. Oh, that's the kind of strategy you were thinking of. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to let that nonsense work on me. I'm sure everyone else is going to look at you like you're some crazy person. Well, it just goes to show that you're not gonna get out of this situation no matter how hard you try. Well then, can I go now? I've said enough. I think from here on out, you're gonna spend the rest of your life being sorry for yourself. Why do you have to say that to me? I didn't do anything wrong. How could you do this to me? Isabella paid the bill with her husband's credit card in tears. She then went home. Isabella's husband took over the management of the family's finances. Isabella now has no friends and no money to spend. And no money to spend. Well, I don't feel sorry for her because she deserved it. A week later, he went back to the luxury hotel. Everyone was excited, probably because Isabel was not there. We all had a great time. We will be traveling together regularly in the future.